an original Pink Panther doll from the 1970s. $1.99. Yeah! Alrighty, it is 92 degrees and we're headed into Goodwill and hopefully we're going to find some hot items just like the temperature right now. So glad you joined us on this edition of Pig and Weeds Vintage. Kay is getting her hair done and I am going thrifting because this is a wonderful Goodwill in Shillington, PA. This is the guy from Fraggle Rock. It's kind of cute. Mighty Mike jumping on the mic and we're back at Goodwill and that was an original Fraggle Rock from 1983. Unfortunately, Kay said it was $2.99. She said if he had the hair in the back, it'd be worth a lot more. I found one other one on eBay and it also didn't have the purple hair coming out the back, but they were asking $35 and $7.50 shipping. I found two of the older guys. Look how bare that wall is on the left-hand side. They're glass was practically empty. Two of the older guys from Fraggle Rock. I wish I knew more about the art class. Uh, George Antique Nomad knows a lot about it. You should watch his videos because he's very knowledgeable on it. But two of the old guys from Fraggle Rock, 155, someone was asking for the pair. So if you have any of the original Fraggle Rock from 1983, that is definitely something to hold on to or post it on eBay if you're ready to part with it or post it online, uh, or hang on to it, because it's a nice treasure. Good to be back with you. It wasn't quite 6 o'clock. My uh, car clock was running fast, and I've never figured out how to get it to the right time, so it's always about 20 minutes fast. So it's after 5.30, and it's at the end of the day, and I couldn't believe how crowded this Goodwill still was at 5.30, quarter to 6. That's a Disney mug made in Thailand. Of course, Minnie Mouse, two ninety nine. I just can't wrap my brain around spending three dollars on a coffee mug so i left it on the shelf but it is a nice looking coffee mug big guys are cute in the 70s atlantic mold but they're a hard sell less and less people are collecting them these are the items that's pretty beat up Oh, nine. Oh. Might clean up with somebody else. Two ninety nine. Wow. Coffee mugs have gone up. Wow! Look at how empty the uh, glass glare here. Just. Later in the day, but my gosh, there's like nothing here. Yeah, when you have a place where you can get coffee mugs at a local thrift store that supports animals for 25 cents a piece, and then we have another thrift store that's Italian, and it's a shame because the one had a chip on it, but that would have been a nice set to get together. If you if the other thrift store we go to has mugs for 99 cents and even 49 cents, so when Goodwill is putting $2.99 and again that mini mouse mug was really nice look at this Sanka <laughs> it's in a glass jar I think it's 2008 was on that $1.99 and I even said on the video I said uh, you know this is considered vintage I don't think so it still makes a great display piece but for collectors they're not going to buy something from 2008 have to do the voiceover 
Love being at Goodwill. Goodwill is such a fun place to go pick. And I love how they have color-coded aisles. And it was a hop in. There was an interesting crowd there at the end of the workday. And people just wanted to have some fun. But they do have the music blaring. And it's kind of one of the charms of it. Huh? Don't you love going to Goodwill and all those songs from the 80s and the 70s that we grew up listening to? So it is so much fun. And the pickers were out galore, including myself. And we were looking for treasure on this hot summer day, a day to stay in the air conditioning. Here we are smack dab when I'm putting the uh, vocals on this video. That's a nice one too, but it had a chip on it. And it was right there by the neck on the right-hand side, if you can see that. I love that old stuff from the 60s and 70s, early 80s. Anyways, um, yeah, middle of a heat wave and a six-day heat wave. And the last three days are the worst ones. So three behind us. And now we have the three coming up that are supposed to be really hot. And I heard someone talking about going to the Phillies game on Sunday. 102 was the predicted high. But then the heat wave breaks and it should be good to go back to the fleet to set up. But yeah, it's it's just fun to get out and go to Goodwill and go treasure hunting to see items that maybe you've never seen before. And you think to yourself, wow, I've never seen this before. Love that painted desert. Love those old trays, Mighty Mike, $1.99. I have so many that I put that one back. And yeah, you can post it online. You can take it to a show. But it, people my age will say, oh, I remember those. We used to get those when we went on vacation. A road trip, right? But then that's about where it stops. So um, you have to get things that you think are you're going to be able to do well on, right? And here's the thing about this trip to Goodwill. I had to run Kay to her hair appointment. And it's a 45-minute drive from our house. So... I ran across town then to this Goodwill. It's not that far away, but as it sits, as the crow flies, it's probably only maybe five minutes or so. But then with traffic and everything, it's a developed area, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So uh, it was interesting. She was uh, texting me, and I was showing her things. What about this? What about that? But I didn't get the text, or I didn't hear it, right? Selective hearing, Mighty Mike. When she said, 15 more minutes, she's drying my hair. And next thing you know, my phone is buzzing saying, come get me right now. How come you're not on your way? So here we go. We're in, what, the Green Isle, I believe, and we're still looking for treasure from this Goodwill. It's funny, when you haven't been to a Goodwill in a while, you know, I know we always show our local thrift stores because they're really close to where we live, and I call it Thrifty Row. There's about a dozen that are just so close, and we could do daily sweeps if we wanted to, but when you get to uh, go to a neighboring county and a place I'm very familiar with, a place that I love in Berks County. Uh, you don't get there every day anymore. So we had to do this sweep of this goodwill. And no matter what day I stop here, no matter what time of day, I'm always finding something. And that's another misnomer. People think that, you know, once the workday is over, the full-time employees stopped putting things out. There was a gentleman that was putting items out, new items out the entire time. And yes, there were those people who were following him, some of the professional pickers that are probably there all day, every single day, and are trying to find treasure just like we were. But we did have a good trip, and I'm very happy with the items that we picked. All right, so we found three things. Found the Buddy Lee bobblehead. He's in pretty good condition. It's heavy. We found thing two and thing one. And we found Fraggle Rock. So we're still under $10. Let's see what else if we can find anything else before we call it quits. Skull. Yeah, that Buddy Lee bobblehead was really cool. It is made in China, but it's very heavy. It's very solid, and it's for Lee jeans, dungarees, since 1889. So I don't know if you could see that when I held it up in the cart, but 
That was a fun piece for $2.99. I don't think any of the items that we picked, that was the highest price that we paid was $3. So uh, the whole trip at the end, we'll recap it. But I think we it was $13.76, and I just rounded it up to $14. When people ask me, say, hey, you're pickers. You know, what do you guys sell? What do you do? Well, one of the things we like is advertising because, you know, something like that Lee bobblehead, the dungarees, the uh, buddy Lee bobblehead, uh, that brings people into your booth. Look at that thing. What is that? Is that a cat? <laughs> Look at my expression because like, I don't know what that is. Could be a folk art piece. I don't know. But yeah, the advertising and we love oversized items. We like items like the Buddy Lee, a bobblehead that's solid. It's it's very sturdy, porcelain, and it's not hollow. So that is a nice bobblehead to purchase. And it was probably a promotional item for Lee Jeans. Not sure how old it is. We didn't look it up yet. Oh, I did look it up some on the internet. They're going for anywhere, I believe, from uh, $15 all the way up to like $75. We don't have the original box, but this particular piece was in very good condition but yeah advertising these are products that evoke an emotional response that we remember maybe we played with it when we were growing up maybe it's a toy maybe it's a uh, record album something we used to listen to in our bedroom with our headphones on or a poster or you know something that our parents or grandparents decorated your house with around the holidays these are fun things that evoke good memories and for many people, they love buying vintage. Even if it doesn't create a good memory, you don't have a fond memory of it, you, you can create new ones as well. And that's what it's all about. The hunt is just looking for unusual, different items that grab your attention and something that when you go out to the flea or you have an antique booth or whatever the case may be, you're selling online or uh, Etsy or eBay or Mercari, whatever the case may be, you want to flip it for a profit. And I always like to say we're in the business of fun. We like to create smiles. And I love seeing people come into the booth when they see all of our advertising, whether it's big or it's small. And after you have a good pick like we had, it's one of those things I can't wait to set up at the next show or I can't wait to post this to see how it does. Or like the uh, Pink Panther doll you saw in the beginning, uh, you'll say, I might hold on to that for a couple of days and just enjoy it on top of the mantle just for now to say, we finally got a Pink Panther. We used to joke about it. Let's find a Pink Panther. Here's one of those oversized items that just looks cool. And it was $2.99. And I think it was made in Bangladesh or made in India. And it is wood. It, does, it did have a scratch at the tippy, tippy top, but it wasn't a deal breaker scratch. Sometimes they're really, really bad. And I thought for $3.00. That is certainly something. I'm not going to sell it on our eBay store, but I will take that out to the flea, and that will look really, really cool on our tables. And uh, somebody who used to sew or somebody likes fashion, whatever, they're going to see that and like, wow, I'll take it for $10. I'm not going to make a lot of money on it, but again, you want to create a brand, create excitement with what you're doing and maybe you have a specialty you what you like nautical things or you like cooking items or you like pop culture whatever we like to do a lot of different things and just things that as i said evoke a an emotional response now this m, &M guy would have been perfect but i think he's lacking his uh, saxophone bill clinton remember president clinton played the saxophone but yeah just a fun trip to goodwill and like i said before if you haven't been there in a while you just get back into that groove again. Today's a good day to have a good day. I agree. Oh my God. Yeah, honestly, any day you get to go thrifting, whether it's a Goodwill or your local thrift stores, whatever they support, animals or uh, religious organizations. Uh, this is a cool Adesco piece, 1974. Uh, this is heavy. I was on the fence on this one because it was only $2.99. And he doesn't have a chip, but the paint is missing on his nose. And we haven't gotten to the point. I know some dealers, they like to match the paints and they like to touch up and do a little bit of that. But boy, you have to be really good. You got to know what you're doing. So I left this treasure for someone else. But Inesco, those are really cool statues from the 1970s. And I didn't even look that one up just because it had the paint missing on his nose. And I think a couple places 
on his head as well. But one of the things that I do like about going to the Goodwill, that's a fun mask, uh, just that it is color-coded. It makes it fun, and it makes it easy. It's such a great place to go picking. And if you've never been to a Goodwill, say, oh, I don't go to thrift stores. That's a fun one to start. And it doesn't matter whatever you're into. Look at all those chip clips. I think those are cool. You know what I mean? The advertising there, Acme, almost bought that. Um, but I, I took a pass on it, left it for somebody else. So if you're into sports, you look for sports things. If you're into cooking or there's an oversized glass, I bet you can't. Probably a dare, but you can't just drink one, right? Or I can't finish this whole thing in one sitting. But yeah, there's so many genres when you're picking. There's a great one, A Day at the Beach priceless we all remember that commercial right and that is a fun piece for somebody who has a shore home but i left it there and not much meat on the bone probably and i could sell it online but we, we i just figured leave it for somebody else i was in to get more fun items on this date these are from disney parks and it was uh i think i counted them like eight eight or nine cups and uh again you could take those home, parcel them out, and, and put different lots or put it all as one lot. Easy shipping, very light. Here's a big bag of sunglasses. Maybe you're having a party for one of your kids or grandkids. Great place to go to get party favors or party ideas is your local thrift store, like a Goodwill, because you can buy bags of a lot. Oh, the tail's broken. See, that's why I left that Roadrunner there. Uh, they have lots and lots of big lots to buy, and it's at a cheap price. So uh, what a great trip to Goodwill. That's cute. So that's the Goodwill mascot. Good stuff for you. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we definitely scored some treasure, and I'm very happy with uh, our haul today. We um, didn't do the pink aisle to the very, very end. And we struck pink gold with the Pink Panther. Yeah. So very happy with that. And it was a good day. Got my bag. We got about five items, I believe. And we spent 13 something. I rounded up to 14. so. I think we'll definitely do that and then some. An original Pink Panther doll from the 1970s. $1.99. Yeah. So we got a lot of goodies. Including an oversized button. Neat. We got the Fraggle Rock guy. We got the thing one, thing two. Pink Panther. And we got the Buddy Lee. So, all in all, definitely a good score. At fourteen dollars, that was a good score. So I gotta go pick up Kay. She already texted me twenty minutes ago saying that she was just about done, and now she called me. She's ready. So we're gonna cut this short. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'm Mighty Mike picking weeds vintage. As always, everybody, happy picking. <laughs>